Ladies and gentlemen, this is your lovely host here once again. It is Team Rai Rai. Now, before I go any further, I'm just wondering anyone out there on social media I had a chance to watch the video from earlier today. If not, smash that bell. You will get a notification from YouTube. Now, that doesn't work out. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment from the article. Share with your friends. And check out my other social media accounts. Now it is time to get this video get this video started once again. I want to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now if you don't do anything like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain. And hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject, and of course, the article will be down below. Let's roll this. Now, ever since McMahon came up with a stupid idea called the Wild Card for Raw, SmackDown, I think two W superstars took by flip flop. They don't even involve the women, I don't think. That was a very stupid idea, McMahon. This is not the NFL, this is not MLB. And of course, this is not hockey, NHL. This is WWE. Keep it separately, okay? Come up with your own rules, okay? Very, very stupid. Is this helping out the viewership? No. It is hurting, it, in my opinion. Now, long, long time ago, when they first came up with the idea of the draft for WWF slash WWE, that was a very, very good idea, okay? Something new, fresh. Because they want to... Um, do like a brand split bull crap, you know, for Raw exclusive previews, previews exclusive for SmackDown. That was okay, and eventually it got very stupid. Two, two previews in one month, no build up whatsoever. Whatever, we had so many previews back then, it is ridiculous. I think it's more than ever stupid. Stick with the four, maybe have the fifth one, like Money Bank or something like that. The other ones. Just get rid of. I know McMahon and this company care about one thing is making money. He don't give a crap if the if the if the product is garbage. He don't give a crap. He just care about making money. But you need to make your product better than people could tune in by your freaking merchandise and other stuff. But they don't. He does not give a crap. He's so stubborn. You know, get with the times, McMahon. Get with the times. Jesus, cry out loud. They just a little rant. Anyway, I guess Kevin Owens is not too happy about the wild card rule. Okay, I totally agree with Kevin Owens. You know, a lot of guys don't like it. It's so stupid rule, you know, but he's getting paid regardless. You could complain all you want. Kevin Owens is not going to do a darn thing. McMahon is not going to change his freaking mind, you know. The ratings are getting worse and worse, you know. And this is the summertime, and a lot of people are not going to tune in to Raw, SmackDown Live, or even the freaking pay-per-views. Tomorrow night is stomping grounds, and I heard the tickets are still the tickets are still available because it is not a very good card. There's no, they don't put no effort on it, you know. Just water. They put a lot more effort around WrestleMania season. And SummerSlam, it seemed like it, but it's kind of sad. The other ones, they just don't give a flying crap. And they should. It's their damn company, you know? So, and I hate when WWE treats Kevin Owens sometimes, you know? It just pisses me off. He should always be in the main event status, you know? But I guess McMahon does not really like Kevin Owens. In my opinion, he really needs to lose 20 more pounds, you know? He looks really... Chunky in the ring, and not being honest, okay. I'm not bad. Well, I'm bashing Kevin Owens. I'm apologizing, but he needs to lose more weight. He said he lost weight, but I don't think so. I remember a couple of years ago, Big Show lost weight, but technically, he did not really lose weight. You know, these guys think they lose weight, and then when they're on the road, you know, at junk food, they can't help it themselves, you know. And I know a lot of people are going to give me a hard time about Kevin Owens, Big Show, Mark Henry, etc, etc. I think Mark Henry is all muscle, I think. I don't know. Who cares? So, I guess it's a, like a little rant about the wrestlers, the health. Health is more important than freaking competing, you know? You got to be, you know, fascinating. I think Kevin Owens is not that 
fast in the ring. You know, I think some of his matches are very, very boring in the W square circle, but if he's in an independent scene, he's 10 times better probably. Probably because W don't want to let him do like 100% of his abilities. That's kind of stupid, but it's a PG bullcrap. You know, they don't want Daniel Bryan do his 110% in the ring because, you know, I think in other wrestling promotions he used to work for, He's a high risk maneuver, all that daredevil stuff, I think, I'm not really too sure. But if you're in the WWE, you gotta keep it on a low profile. Can you just imagine if WWE let you do whatever you want to? You know? But safety is more important, you know? Than your freaking. Your safety and your health is more important than a freaking match, you know? In my opinion. I don't know what I'm talking about, really. I know you guys are gonna bash me the hell out of me. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Kevin Owens. He's there. I don't know if he will be there until his, until like 40, 50. I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe not. If he's loyal to the company and if he's on good terms, maybe he'll be a future W Hall of Famer. Hopefully. But we'll see what's going to happen. But there's WWE wild card. Wild card rolls. It is so stupid. McMahon, you need to drop it and end the freaking brand split and let any Superstar to go on any, any show. Okay, Raw, SmackDown Live, anybody, you know. The ratings is not going to help with the wild card. It's not going to help. It's your writing team and your creating team is hurting the freaking business. McMahon make the, the final decision. So technically, he's the one who's hurting the business, in my opinion, you know. Fans are very, very pissed off with their stupid decisions, McMahon, you know. Rest, you got, sorry, not WrestleMania, you got SummerSlam coming around the corner, you got, what, two months, and there's no build-up yet? Hello? Get with the gear. Get with the program, McMahon. Don't be freaking lazy with your wrestlers and your product. Oh my gosh, I'm just shaking my head. Like, subscribe, you have kind of hit the notification, hit the subscribe. Sorry, I kind of messed up in the beginning. Everyone, enjoy your rest of your Saturday, and deuces. Goodbye.